welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be doing my first impression of the HD Mattifying Cream Foundation by e.l.f. And it's supposed to be oil-free and a long-lasting foundation. So I'm gonna put it to the test today and let you know what my first impression is. So if you're interested in knowing what it is, then just keep watching this video. I'm gonna start by reading the back of the box. It says uh, HD Mattifying Cream Foundation. And it says that this high-definition, oil-free, lightweight foundation is perfect for normal to oily skin types. The cream to powder formula minimizes fine lines and leaves a natural long-lasting matte finish and includes a compact sponge for easy application and portable beauty and it says that we are supposed to smooth into the face working from the center at work outwards for an even blend and it says that reapply for buildable coverage this foundation is supposed to last uh, for 12 months or you can keep it for a long as long as 12 months and also it says that they don't test on animals so if you're interested in buying products that are cruelty free elf it's one of the brands that uh, it's really inexpensive and it has very good products and at the same time it's a uh, cruelty free so I'm gonna open it and I kind of open it at the store to see the colors because there's no way I'm gonna be able to just look at the name and think oh that's my shade so I open it I didn't touch it at the store um, this I tried it at home just to make sure that was the right color and if not to exchange it before I do this first impression it has a pretty good mirror that I like and then on the bottom it has the sponge that it's a pretty good quality it's not that thin it's not that thick so it's the kind of one it's the ones that they feel like a rubbery consistency so they're perfect for applying cream to powder um, foundations uh, I love the packaging I think it looks sleek it's not the shiny kind of uh, plastic it is more I don't know it looks better I, in my opinion it's not that big that it will be really bulky on your makeup bag and it has 9.9.5 .9 grams or 0.34 ounces so let's go ahead and try I'm it. gonna use the stipple brush and I know it looks dirty because I already applied a little bit of this foundation um, it says that includes the sponge for on the go I don't know easy but it doesn't say apply with the sponge so what I'm gonna do instead of just I think that we're gonna waste a lot of product with this kind of sponges and that I'm gonna keep it just in case I'm gonna need it whenever I'm at home but I'm gonna apply it with the small stippling brush by elf and I think this is one of the best stippling brushes that I have on my makeup collection and uh, I'm gonna apply it with this one and then maybe if it needs I'm gonna blend it with the beauty blender I'm gonna start in the middle of the face and I'm gonna work work outwards just like the instruction says so what I just did is I just kind of stipple it into my skin and now I'm gonna blend it I want to say that I love cream to powders foundations I've used the cream to powder foundation from Mary Kay for many many years and I think that it gives you amazing coverage. I think that cream to powder foundations are the ones that give you the most coverage. And at the same time, um, they're a very nice consistency and it makes you look like you have perfect skin, at least on me. So I love this. I'm gonna apply a little bit to my eyelid so we can see the coverage as well. So like I mentioned before, I love um, cream to powder foundations because it gives you that absolutely flawless complexion, but there's something that you have to keep in mind. Even with the cream to powder foundations or full coverage foundations, you have to find your perfect match. And if you buy a foundation and you get home, you try it on and you think, oh, it might work, don't just return it to the store exchange it for your for your perfect color and sometimes you're not gonna find your perfect color on this particular foundation there are some foundations that are way too pink some foundations that are way way too yellow so you have to see if you really can match yourself to the color because otherwise since it has a lot of coverage it's gonna show the difference with your neck and if it's a different undertone let's say it's pink and you're yellow it's gonna show darker on your skin and it's gonna look like a mask and also if it's too dark it's gonna be the same thing just because it's not gonna match our neck 
and you can tell that you're wearing foundation so it's not like you, know, you self tan your face or whatever you're gonna look like you applied a lot of foundation and that you you know and that doesn't really match your neck so those things to keep in mind liquid foundations powder foundations any kind of full coverage foundation you have to make sure you're spot on with the color and then it's specific for you and if not just return it to the store and get a new color you just can't get stuck with it because most likely you're gonna start to hate it day by day at the moment you're like um it might be okay but you know it's better to be safe than sorry so just try to go back to the store and even if you can't find your perfect shade on that specific specific foundation just go ahead and go to another kind of brand because it's not worth it to wear something just because of the brand and just because of the coverage and that you can totally see the difference with the rest of your body I think that defeats the purpose of a perfect skin because it's gonna be a perfectly dark or perfectly uh, pale which is not gonna match with the rest of you so it's gonna be a very noticeable kind of make so as you can see now there's a difference between one side and the other one I can totally see the difference on my right side it looks like I don't know like flawless skin um, it hasn't set yet but it looks very flawless it looks like I don't know perfect skin and then on this other side I can see all my dark spots I can see all my darkness and as you can see on my lips you can totally see the kind of coverage that this foundation has and I always try to do on my lips because that's how you can tell I can see it on the mirror and it looks amazing the match I think it's pretty good uh, I would have to say that this is kind of pinkyish undertone it looks yellow but once you apply it to your skin I don't know I see a little pink in it so I'm hoping that this is not gonna oxidize on me if it oxidizes it's gonna look really bad in a couple of hours so um, I'm gonna keep you posted with that but other than that I think it's so far so good so now I'm gonna apply it to this other side and it says that it's a matte finish so we're gonna wait for a few minutes and see if it really mattifies so far, I love this. It's totally full coverage. So it has set and it's absolutely a matte finish. It is totally full coverage. It covers all my imperfection, I should say. It covers all my freckles, it covers some uh, little bumps that I have all over my, especially in this area. It doesn't really accent, accentuate my pores or anything like that, even though I'm not using any primers underneath this foundation. Really pretty much conceal all my redness around my nose, so that's pretty awesome. And like I say, I mean, for $6, I think that today it's really hard to find a full coverage foundation at the drugstores. Usually they're medium and they're about 12, 13, 17 bucks, so I'm, I like I mentioned before, I think it's getting ridiculous, but we're gonna put this one to the test. I'm gonna see if it oxidizes. That's my main concern with this foundation because I don't wanna be darker in like a couple of hours. I will be checking in with you guys. I will Also, I will be doing a tutorial, so I'm just gonna apply to the rest of my face some blush and bronzer, but nothing that I'm gonna, you know, set it on my nose or my forehead or my chin. So we're gonna truly see if really this keeps me mad all day if it oxidizes if it lasts as long as it states that it that it does and I will check back with you um, it is 1038 right now I hope you can see the time because oh there we go it is 1038 right now and I will see you later hey guys it's um 1252 and I had it on for a while this is one of my really bad allergy days so I been messing with my nose today and I feel like it needed like it was gonna get bad but it actually didn't um, I can't really see a lot of rub off on that area maybe a little bit on the tip of my nose but nothing major like other foundations that I have on my collection so I think that the powder consistency that it dries to because now it's actually set you can feel it like a powder it's not really sticky or moisturized as if it was a, 
I don't know, uh, liquid foundation, um, like other liquid foundations that I have anyways. So I like that. So, so far so good. It didn't oxidize on me. Yay for that. That was my main concern. I thought it was going to oxidize on me and look 10 times darker, but it didn't. It's still the same color, it's still the same coverage. I am not oily, I didn't have the blood or anything like that and I've been doing a lot of stuff today so uh, so far so good I will check with you back later well girls it's um, 3 51 and it's the end of my makeup day and I'm gonna I'm about to remove my makeup but I wanted to show you how amazing this foundation it's working for me I mean it cover everything and coverage wise it's still pretty much the same I see a little bit of shine that is coming through my nose and maybe my forehead and my chin just a little bit nothing that I have to blot or anything but I started to see that about 3 30 so about 20 minutes ago but I think it's amazing for six dollars you can't really go wrong with this foundation like I mentioned before I love the uh, cream to powder consistency that this foundation has it really sets to a matte finish it's full coverage and you can't really go wrong I mean it's six dollars and it's the best that I've tried so far from the drugstore inexpensive foundation that really works so I'm gonna keep using it and I'm gonna keep you updated if anything you know if I got a pimple or whatever after using this for a while but so far so good I love it it's amazing it's easy to travel with because of the compact it's not a messy thing that you know like maybe the L'Oreal one that is a glass container or you know pump that can pump all over the place this is the one thing that you close it and it's pretty much contained there so thumbs up for elf I think it came out with this amazing foundation look amazing in picture just because of the polished look that it gives to your face so the question is would I recommend this foundation to who would I recommend this foundation I think everybody can benefit from it if you have normal skin dry skin oily skin combo skin I think everybody would benefit from it if you have very oily skin it might be something that you have to blot after a certain amount of hours but I think most of the foundations do also if you like full coverage foundation this is amazing it's a the most full coverage foundation that I've tried from the drugstore so is that amazing watching this video until the end and I will see you in my next one Mwah.